You can certainly feel the pain and emotion from Vanessa Guillen's sister, her Houston family, demanding a federal investigation after human remains believed to be Vanessa's were discovered about 30 minutes outside of Fort Hood, where she served our country. The story, of course, taken a very dramatic turn just within the past 25 hours. Welcome, everyone, to Live at 5. Well, ABC 13, Steve Campion has been on top of this story from the very beginning, and he is live right now with the very latest. And Stephen, just that raw emotional response from the family, you feel it right to the core. Absolutely, Melanie, heartbreaking. Right now, it is difficult to imagine the vile, evil behavior that played out here along the Leon River. We are learning that whoever dug that shallow grave, they did so and then made great efforts to conceal it. Off FM 436 in Bell County in Central Texas and far from our beloved city of Houston, investigators found what's believed to be the remains of our missing soldier, Vanessa Guillen. Today we've learned from Texas EquiSearch founder Tim Miller, cell phone records helped narrow their search efforts to this spot along the Leon River. What they discovered, disturbing beyond words. Miller says the remains were covered in lime. Someone then covered them in concrete, followed by rocks, in an effort to conceal them. Search crews found a burn pile of plastics nearby, including a pelican case, likely used to move the body. Vanessa did report the sexual harassment. Today we heard from Vanessa's family. They demanded a congressional investigation into her disappearance. The Army says one suspect is dead, another is in custody. because God has the last word. My sister deserves justice. That's why we demand a congressional investigation to be done because Fort Hood, the great place, hasn't done anything. Melanar, within the past 30 minutes, we have confirmed, which is why you see investigators out here, that they have uncovered more human remains. They do believe that it is tied to the same case. Now, as for the United States Criminal Investigation Command, they have been extremely tight-lipped about this case. They've never once appeared on camera to answer any specific questions. In a news release today, they said that they are remaining silent about this or keeping a lot of information under wraps because they say it could jeopardize their criminal investigation and jeopardize this case. And the news at six, we're going to take a timeline of this case and when Vanessa first went missing. We're live at five in Bell County, Steve Campion, 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Steve. It is so very tragic.